American Patriot 1965 here. Coming at you with another tall tale. This is about a Bigfoot. Everybody's got their own Bigfoot story. I've got mine. Of course, mine has an ending. It's a little different than everybody else's. Mine does have an ending. <laughs> everybody else says, well, I don't know what it was, you know, and they ain't never got no... You know, I was too afraid to follow this, that, whatever. No, no, no. <laughs> this shit happened to me. I was hunting. And even though I only had a crossbow with me with a single arrow, I had uh, kahunas the size of basketballs back then. So I was uh, I was hunting one morning, working my way up towards this bluff. Of course, it was still dark. It wasn't daylight yet. And I had a cheap headlamp on it. It wasn't too bright. And walking up through the woods, and I hear this, Weird sound strange on the bluff right up above me. And uh sound like a, a, a blowing sound, not like a deer, just some sort of really huffy, puffy kind of puff. Put you in the mind of a bull going <laughs> and kicking its feet and stuff. That's what it sounded like. So I uh, I walked on up the woods just a little further and I kept hearing that and it was getting closer and closer. And I stopped at the bottom of this bluff. And this bluff is about... 15 feet high, you know, it's, it's well above my head. But as you go further down the mountain, the bluff's at a slight angle. So what happens is, as you're walking up the mountain, you're getting closer to the bluff. And as you walk up, you can actually get up on the bluff. And the sound I was hearing was right above my head. So I just kept working my way up till I saw this movement between the trees. And I, I knew right then I was seeing what I was hearing. And, uh, you want to talk about stopping you dead in your tracks when you actually see something. And I couldn't really tell what I was seeing. I could tell it was something hairy between the trees. And uh, I sit there and I pulled my crossbow up real slow. I was looking through my little scope, you know, and I really couldn't tell anything different there. And uh, it made that noise again and leaves was going everywhere and it about scared me to death. I was about to run off the mountain sideways. But something had me just stuck there till I could see better what was going on and in a couple of minutes time, it was getting just daylight enough and the fog was lifting. And out stepped behind these trees was a donkey. A great big mule donkey thing. And it was sick. And you know the old saying, uh, sick as a mule. It, it was right. This mule was coughing. And every time it'd cough, its head would go down. Leaves would fly everywhere. And it would shudder and shake and go on. It was making an awful strike ever was. Long story short, this Bigfoot turned out to be a mule up on the side of the mountain that probably had wandered off to die. And if I hadn't, you know, as bad as I felt for it and should have put it out of its misery, I didn't because I didn't know who it belonged to. And you never know, it might have sounded like that all the time. For all, it might be an 80-year-old donkey. <laughs> so, but that's that's my Bigfoot story. And in the end, you know, if you got the kahunas to stick around and find out what it is, and that's exactly what I did, crossbow or not, I stuck around because curiosity might kill the cat, but at least the cat knows what killed it. <laughs> Bingo. There's my story. Have a good man. Like and subscribe.